A lot of our projects have a, a familiar strand where they explore socio-political and economic situations in a number of different ways through design. So similarly how a lot of science fiction films explore the ideas of politics or religion and historical events through abstracting it with aliens or with robots. Uh, we try and use the environments and the development of those designs um, to do similar kind of conditions. We're all studying our diploma in architecture at UCL. We were a unit that represented architectural ideas through film and animation. We kind of started building our aesthetic and our style and uh, learning techniques and we kind of all shared ideas and learned from each other. And towards the end of the final year, I guess that was when Factory 15 really started in 2011. A lot of the, the projects that we like to undertake creatively are still influenced and situated within architecture and the built environment. We were encouraged to use kind of narrative and often like science fiction to change a place or to be the inspiration for a project. But all of our work was kind of site specific, so um, we'd be encouraged to kind of build upon or change or augment or create narratively driven scenarios on quite site specific locations which encouraged us to design the things that we design so I think we've, we've continued that ethos in our, in our studio work now. The Golden Age project for me started as um, short films where the first one was a very abstract interpretation of matter but it kind of slowly developed into my own interest in how technology is changing and how we're using technology more and more within the home to experience other places, essentially. So we can certainly experience them in different ways now. Teleconferencing calls, we can have meetings anywhere around the world, and we've had this technology for a while. And um, I wanted to explore in the second film how that might change drastically in the future, how those experiences will become a lot more realistic. Robus Brixton was looking at how migrant populations change and augment their space and then look into the future of robots. How will they build their houses? How will they live in the space? And then I started to look at protest and riots and I started, wanted to retell the story of the 81 riots but with robots. Then I tell me about the vanquish and the victory. A lot of the time we're speculating on different scenarios. We're not kind of saying this is a kind of definitive future. It's, uh, it's just taking one strand or one idea and exploring it in a kind of very prolific way. Within Jonah, we looked at developing the narrative for the story and um, within the environment through using tourism as a catalyst for change. So within the story, there's a sighting of uh, one of the world's giant largest jumping fish. The, the town develops on puns of this fish and there's a, a kind of a tourism like Liverpool and the Beatles where all this signage and tourism crops up um, to do with this fish. I think it's also interesting to look at areas that have kind of rapid change, like places like Shanghai, Las Vegas, Dubai. There's more of a kind of ground up kind of change but we were looking more at kind of how a space could rapidly change with the notion of the world's biggest fish with all the signage film or animation, they've always been quite multidisciplinary. I think that people often use the buzzword now. I think what's happening now is technology is allowing an individual or smaller groups of individuals to do more. So with a smaller group of people you can kind of execute something at a much larger scale. So I think with Jonah, a lot of people did work on it but there was still core teams of people here and what that meant was that I don't think that film, the scale of it could have been made five, ten years ago, but now it means that, you know, with this multidisciplinary approach, you can kind of create more ambitious things with smaller teams. We get asked a lot, do you not want to build buildings? As if it's kind of a shame that we're now working purely digitally rather than actually making, making buildings, um, my dad especially. <laughs> so are you making cartoons now, are you? Oh, well, are you an architect yet? but um, science fiction is a really good medium to tell important stories in an entertaining way and it's something we enjoy designing as well so those three together are kind of a perfect mix for us really. Mm -hmm.